Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Google Ads series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to make Google Ads report using Locker or Data Studio. Previously, it was called Data Studio. Now it is called Locker Studio. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay. So we'll be using this ad account for showing the reports or for preparing reports. First of all, we need to go to the Locker Studio section. So for going to the Locker Studio, I'm going to search lockerstudio.google.com or if you search Locker Studio on Google, then you'll be able to come to this URL. Okay. Then you can see over here, we have different options available here. So I'll only show you how to create reports, you know. So if you want, you can create a blank report by clicking on this plus button. But I will show you how to create reports using templates. That's why I'm going to click on templates. Then from the category section, we have different options available here, like Google Analytics, Search Console, Google Ads, YouTube Analytics, Google Sheet. BigQuery, Sarset 360, Display and Video Ads. So if you want, you can create reports for those uh, platforms. So for the time being, I'm going to choose the Google Ads. Okay. Then you can see we have different templates available here for Google Ads. Like if you want to create uh, reports on Google Ads overview, you can do it from here. If you want to create reports on e-commerce, PPC, search ad, uh, Google Ads search auction insight, Google Ads search performance, Google Ads video performance, Google Ads display performance, Google Ads opportunity lost, Google Ads ad group performance, Google Ads campaign performance, Google Ads performance gap analysis, Google Ads performance by day, Google Ads ad type insights, Google Ads YouTube performance, Google Ads keyword performance, Google Ads display targeting performance, Google Ads performance trends, Google Ads ad slot insights, Google Ads device performance, Google Ads geographic performance, Google Ads search query performance, Google Ads shopping performance, Google Ads account health, Google Ads impression share, Google Ads search impression share, Google Ads display impression share, Google Ads Shopping Auction Insight, Google Ads Local Campaign Store, Google Ads Daily Budget, Google Ads Discovery and TrueView, Google Ads Discovery Performance, Google Ads Display Network Performance, Google Ads Search Creative Performance, Google Ads Shopping Product Performance, Google Ads Search Automation Trends, Google Ads Experiments Performance, Google Account CPA or ROS Tool. So you can use those templates and customize the reports as per your requirements okay so i'll show you two or three reports how to create two or three reports for your google ads you know so for that uh first option i'm gonna choose this one google ads overview so i'm gonna create a report on google ads overview so i'm gonna click on it just wait a little bit Then you can see over here, this is a sample Google Ads report. So we'll be using our Google Ads account report. Okay. So we can get the clicks, CTR, impression, conversion, cost per conversion, conversion rate, cost, average CPC, average CPM. We can get the uh, clicks graph over here, conversion graph over here, cost graph over here, you know, and top campaigns. You can see the top performing campaigns device breakdown okay so let's use this report for our google ads account okay so for copying this report i'm going to click on edit and share just wait a little bit it is copying the report Then I need to make a connection between my Google Ads and Locker Studio. So for making the connection, you can either click on resources and from the resources, you can click on 
manage added data sources or if you want you can click on add data so i'm going to click on add data then you need to choose google ads from here so i'm going to choose google ads then you need to select your google ad account from here like i have bunch of google ads account over here so i'm going to choose this one then i'll click on add just wait a little bit i'll click on add again i'm going to click on continue okay then you can see over here those reports are basically built for the sample head account so what i need to do i need to go to the east matrix and use our google ads account id or account id for showing the reports okay so first of all i am gonna uh, click on the date range and i want to see the data for maybe last quarter okay then i'm gonna click on apply perfect so let's wait a little bit okay so we are seeing the data for last quarter so i'll go to the click section and from the sample google ads report so instead of using sample google ads i'm gonna use our google ads so i'm gonna choose google ads from here so this is our google ads account id you know so you can see the changes over here like clicks 1.5k clicks then if i go to select ctr then you will see the changes of data so currently it is 1.6 so instead of using sample google ads i'm gonna use our google ads so i'm gonna click on google ads then you'll see the changes So it is 11.4 previously it was 1.6 similarly i'll go to the impression section and instead of choosing sample google ads i'm going to choose google ads similarly i'll go to the conversion section and instead of using sample google ads i'm going to use our google ads okay perfect and conversion rate section i'll do the same I'm going to choose Google Ads. Cost per conversion section. I'm going to choose Google Ads as well. In the cost section, I'm going to choose Google Ads. Average CPC section, I'm going to choose Google Ads as well. And average CPM section, I'm going to choose google ads again so you can see those are the <clears throat> data for our google ads account okay then i will click on this clicks graph and instead of using sample google ads report i'm gonna use our google ads account id then you will see the changes over here similarly for conversion i'm gonna choose google ads You'll see the changes and for the cost i'll do the same okay perfect and from the top campaign section i'll also do the same so instead of using sample google ads i'm going to use google ads perfect then in the device breakdown section i'm going to choose google ads instead of sample google ads because we don't want to make a report for sample google ads we want to make a report for our google ads you know then from the cost section i'm going to choose google ads and from the conversion section i'm going to choose google ads again okay is there any field no so we have made a report for our Google Ads. So I'm going to name the report as Google Ads Overview Report. You can mention your account name. Okay. 
so for example i'm gonna use this one okay perfect so if you want you can view it by clicking on view okay then you will be able to see your reports like how many clicks did you get what is the ctr impressions conversion cost per conversion conversion rate cost average cpc average cpm and you can see the clicks graph conversion graph cost graph and you can see the top performing campaigns so you have all the campaigns available okay device breakdown clicks cost conversion okay so yeah this is very nice report so uh you can share this report with your client so if you click on share then you just need to uh, give your client email like i'm giving abc and great gmail.com so you'll be giving your uh, client email over here okay so if you want to give the viewer access or if you want to give the editor access then you can do it from here so i'm going to give the viewer and i'll click on send so this is a dummy email so you can see over here that address doesn't exist so for example i'm going to give the access to this one and i'm going to click on send so i'll click on public and click on save So I have given access to my client. So that is how you can make a, a Google Ads report and share this report with your client. So I'm going to show you another report. So I'll click on Locker Studio. And if I go to the template again, and I'm going to choose Google Ads. And from the template section, I'm going to go to the Google Ads campaign performance. So I will create a report on Google Ads campaign. Okay. Campaign performance, in fact. So for copying this, I'm going to click on edit and share. Just to tell a little bit, it is copying the reports. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to click on add data. And I'm going to choose Google Ads from here. <clears throat> then I'll show you a different account like I'm going to show, for example, this one. I'll click on add. We'll click on add again. Click on continue. Okay, perfect. Then from the date range section, I'll customize the date range as maybe last year. Okay, then I'll click on apply. Then I'll go to the specific uh, metrics and use our Google Ads data because this is the sample Google Ads account data. So I'll go to the specific metrics and I'll uh, use my Google Ads account data. So I'll go to the cost section and instead of using default sample Google Ads, I'm going to use our Google Ads. Okay, then you will see the changes of data. So cost has, uh, cost is $847. And if I go to the average CPC, currently it is $0.92. Cents. So if I use our Google Ads data, then this data will be changed. So I'm going to choose Google Ads then you'll see the changes over here. So it is 88 cents. Previously it was 92 cents, okay? Then I'm gonna go to the click section and instead of using default 
sample Google Ads, I'm going to use our Google Ads. And I'll go to the conversion section as well and I'll choose Google Ads. Similarly, I'll go to the CTR section. I'm going to choose Google Ads. And in the conversion rate section, instead of using sample Google Ads, I'm going to use Google Ads. Similarly, I'll click on top 10 campaigns performance. I'm going to choose our Google Ads from here. So I'm going to choose this one and select Google Ads as well. Okay. And in the overall campaign performance compared with previous period, I'm going to select Google Ads from here. Okay. Perfect. So now we are seeing our Google Ads data. So I'm going to click on view for the better show. Okay. So you can see over here. So account performance overview versus previous period, total cost, average CPC clicks, conversion CTR, conversion rate, top 10 campaign performance by conversion, conversion rate. So you can see over here, th those are the campaigns, you know, top 10 campaigns performance by cost, average CPC. So you can see the campaigns available here and you can see overall campaign performance compared with previous period so those are the campaigns okay so if you want you can share this report with your client you know i'm going to share this report to this person so you just need to enter his or her email over here and if you want you can give the viewer access or editor access so i'm going to keep it as viewer and i'll click on send then uh, your client will be able to see these reports okay i'm going to click on public and click on save okay perfect so this report has been shared with this specific person so this is how you can make our google ads report on locker studio so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have a clear understanding on how we can create different reports uh, for Google Ads on Locker Studio. So if you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day. Bye-bye.